Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan again with Senior E-Bike Nation. We are going to continue our ride here, and uh, we're going to go uh, probably about another um, eight or nine miles, and then um, maybe not that far, maybe about six, seven miles. Then we'll stop the video again, and I'll explain a little bit about the bike. And so, yeah, let me turn the camera around here, and you guys enjoy the view of the trail. Yeah, I've got several reviews already on this Cyrus Rovia. I did pretty much a uh, range test here. I have not done a battery degradation yet. I'm, I'm going to wait till I purchase another battery before I do that. So I would really like to drain this battery as much as I can to see what distance we get. So that'll be an upcoming video. But I want to thank Cy Rusher for sending me this bike to review. It's a beautiful bike. I get compliments from all over people that uh, are either on my channel or I see out in public. They just comment on how beautiful the bike is. Some, uh, a couple of my subscribers don't like my bell. They uh, don't like my horn. They'd rather have a bell. They think the horn scares people. But you know what? The intent is to get their attention. And if you just ring out a bell and they got their ears plugged in, they're probably not going to hear you. But you can hear this horn. It's pretty loud. I think Cy Rusher did a good job on uh, their horn selection. to see a few more people on the trail now. Everything is pretty much greened up now. It's uh, it's beautiful scenery this time of year. Coming up on the uh, 911 memorial up here piece of the steel that was taken out of the North Tower, I believe. Here's my guy I see walk 20 miles every day. That gentleman in the yellow hat walks 12 hours every single day on these bike trails. And I know that's a fact because I see him out here almost every time I'm on the trail. He's out. your guys week is going let me know if you was able to get out and ride rather it be a regular bike or an e-bike I 
I certainly try to get out as much as I can in the summertime. I normally will approach between a 90 to 120 miles in the uh, summer once it once I get going. Right now, I'm just now got all my gardening in. I just planted 47 tomato plants, about 26 or 27 pepper plants, along with some cabbage and some onions and some uh, half runner beans. And I did everything from seed this year. So I'm really excited to see how well that does. It's a lot of work into it when you do it that way. But I've got them growing in grow bags, in the ground, in raised beds. But everything seems to be coming along really well. So the rest of summer, it'll be a matter of maintaining with all the weeding, fertilizing the plants when they need it, and of course, water and tomatoes pretty much every day. Sometimes twice a day, you gotta water them. They take a lot of water. interesting to uh, start reviewing these other bikes that I can go visit like the Trek store and they'll let me review any bike they have. Go out and do a neighborhood ride and do a review for it. And it, it's going to help their store as well because I'll give them a link to their location. So not only is it only helping Trek company it's also helping that local uh, store where people can support it here. Yeah, the district manager was thrilled to hear. He was in the store when I went in there. He was thrilled to hear that. On your left. Yeah, I guess the bike shop uh, that I'm talking about the owner wanted to retire. So after 30 some years, I think he decided he wanted to retire. So, but he wanted to sell the company, but um, he decided to sell it to Trek, which was um, really advantageous for him. And uh, then he can still see the bike shop open. They still do repairs and stuff. But they won't work on motors and stuff uh, unless it's their own brand, and I get that. Or unless you bought the bike from that store. this other bike situation that uh, I think I got to do a zoom call tomorrow morning with the uh, sales manager for this particular company they have loaner bikes like a Cabela's and things like that where they can loan me the bike so I can review it for them they're not going to outright give me the bike I mean these are six and eight thousand dollar bikes so uh, I'm just really looking forward to that as well. So you seniors think, you know, when you retire, there's not a whole lot to do. I am so busy now. It's, it's almost twice as much right now than it was when I was working. I'm just that busy. Rather with the gardening, the bike channel, ministry, I, I try to stay very active. Got a 
about another three miles to go once we cross this intersection. And it'll be about our 10 mile marker once we uh, get that next three miles in. Caleb, the guy that uh, rides with me a lot, he's doing a uh, e-bike conversion on an old bike, like an old Schwinn, and uh, it's a really cool looking bike, and he's doing an e-bike conversion on that, so we'll be uploading that to the channel when he gets that done as well. another mile to go once we get up here at this next intersection. I hope you guys have enjoyed these two videos. I know I love riding. Yeah, it's really cool family out riding with their little kids. That's cool. We're going to go out to dinner this afternoon with uh, my grandson and my son. We're going to go to Cracker Barrel. It's about the only place I know anymore that's got good service. Services really went dropped off since uh, COVID. So a lot of times we'll just buy a takeout and bring it home, but today we're going to have a little family meal together. I'm riding along about 20, 21 mile an hour. I know a lot of my subscribers and people think that's too fast. people on the trails today so 20 mile an hour is uh, pretty average for an e-bike anymore and I've noticed a couple of them they're coming out even are going to get faster up into the 30s to almost 40 mile an hour and uh, I doubt I will be reviewing those bikes for you because this channel is supposed to be uh, designated for seniors or people with uh, limited disabilities so uh, I'm not out for speed, I'm out for comfort, I'm out for safety. And as I mentioned on my previous video, safety is my most important part of this channel. That's why you see me stopping at all stop signs now. I don't care if there's any cars or anybody coming, I'm stopping at that stop sign. I know another channel, uh, most of them don't actually, but I know uh, one particular channel that I emailed the guy and uh, he was very courteous to me and said he can't really stop at a lot of those stop signs because of um, his knee problems and his hips and his legs and I get that so I kind of accepted that why he didn't stop at stop signs and I'm not going to mention the channel very important. 
Martin introduced us. Here's our bridge right up here we're going to stop at. We'll get off the bike and we'll talk about the uh, bike a little bit. Like I normally do. We'll just uh, pull off on the other side of the bridge here with this little wooden uh, deck area, I call it. There's our halfway point here. It does not take long to get up here, obviously. Let me turn the pedal assist down on my bike. I really don't like having that pedal assist on when I'm stepping off the bike because if you accidentally hit that throttle, your bike is going to surge on you. So you got to be a little careful with that. So anyway, I'm going to take the camera off the mound here. I got it on my handlebar mount. And let's talk about the bike a little bit. Okay, uh, again, this is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. And we're going to talk about the Cyrusher Ovia. It's a beautiful bike. It is a 20-inch um, step-through bike. And I also own their other step-through bike called the uh, Cy Rusher Komoda. I purchased that one, but they sent this one to me to review. So uh, a couple upgrades on it, but it's pretty much the same as the uh, Komoda. Speed's about the same. Uh, there's not too much difference uh, about the uh, bikes itself. So let's talk about it a little bit. It has got a 750-watt Bafang rear hub motor on it and it's got a turning derailleur and it's also got a 52 volt 17 amp hour battery that sits down in this down tube and um, it's just got a key that goes in here and as soon as you release this this battery falls forward where with the Komoda it was up here and it came this way so that that was a sort of a somewhat of a change in the battery placement but they were both still down in the uh, down tube and it's also got a um, sh seven speed Shimano shifter it has got Logan hydraulic brakes uh, which was a change they had Tektro on their other bikes I'm not sure why they went to Logan unless they uh, have an agreement with them to do all their bikes I'm not sure about that and um, yeah it's got the 20 inch by 4 inch fat tires as you can see uh, very comfortable bike it's got 180 millimeter disc rotors on it it's got front and rear suspension it's got front suspension here and it's got air suspension here that's another change from the Komoda so um, yeah that's really nice it's very comfortable and on the pedals these actually fold by holding down the um, little uh, lever on there to lock it in and the Komoda actually folded the whole pedal so that's a different uh, design change on that as well and another thing about this bike is on the Komoda once you go around a turn on this bike the, the pedals would uh, bottom out but with this bike they don't do it I think they designed the pedals a little bit higher on this bike I'm not sure how they did that but anyway yeah it's uh I can usually get about 30 to um, 35 miles on this bike um, and still have battery left over we've already come about 10 miles and we still believe it or not have 98 percent of the battery still left that's pretty impressive now that will drop as we come back on the uh, ride that'll that'll uh, deplete a little bit quicker due to the battery degradation and look at this front headlight you're talking about nostalgic that's a great looking headlight looks like it should be on a motorcycle actually and I had this thing out at nighttime and the pattern on this headlight is like a big square on the trail and I really like that so it doesn't really um, show the light at a wider view or the trail. It actually has more of a um, uh, condense of the uh, headlight on the trail. I really like that. 
and uh, other than that it has got the up and down arrows here for the um, pedal assist one through five and then uh, it's also got a twist throttle here um, a lot of people like the thumb throttle I like the twist throttle so that's a little bit different than the uh, some other bikes have and uh, other than that I mean it's got good really good headlights as I mentioned and the horn is extremely loud for a small little horn now the bike rack also comes with this bike and um, I actually had an additional bag that I carry um, that fits the um, fits the rack very well now the only downside of these rock brother bags that um, my Komoda has a side rusher bag it's much bigger uh, about a two inch bigger and then I can also fit the Komoda battery inside that bag and that's probably going to be the same thing once I purchase another battery for this Ovia um, I will probably have to uh, go ahead and purchase the side rusher bag so the extra battery that I'm going to do on a long range test will fit in that bag but other than that I mean um, I think I've pretty much told you about everything a couple accessories that I did put on the bike I put this little uh, bar on here for carrying different things like camera mounts or whatever that's what I'm doing today is uh, putting my GoPro up here on this uh, this bar that I added to it I purchased this mirror I don't like bar in mirrors it came with a bike additional bar in mirrors but I don't like them so this is the uh, light that I or the mirror that I purchased I'll see if I can put this down in the description box of that so you guys will know what I bought this little bag here I just had sitting around the house and I can carry my phone and um, some keys and some other things in there and I bought a little red mount for it got my little coca-cola today don't have coffee today how about that and I also bought this little um, another cup holder for coffee that I can put behind the seat post but the seat itself is very comfortable so yeah it's, it's a beautiful bike and uh, I really like it so Cy Rusher hit this thing out of the park they really did the only thing I do have one negative thing to talk about and that's this reflector light in the rear they have a reflector light that um, that's all it is it's got a button on the top of it but when I tried to push the button the light didn't come on anyway the Komoda and and of course their Ranger and other bikes I believe have the um, wire that go the wire goes into the light and I really think that when they built the Ovia they missed that uh, I think that's very important so if there's anything negative I'm gonna talk about that's the only thing on the Ovia other than that it gets great range it's a lot of fun to ride um, as you can see I could put a couple more accessories up here if I want to on this um, cockpit area of the bike as we call it but uh, very comfortable bike have nothing uh, but good things to say to Cy Rusher about it and I highly recommend you buy this um, this price point on this I think is $24.99 plus tax I, um, they may have upgraded that since I looked but there is a discount code on my website you can go to it and you'll get a discount on this bike as well but yeah I recommend this bike to anybody because with that step through design people that are getting older like myself and even older than I am that they can easily step over this bike to get on it so yeah anyway put any comments or thoughts you have about the bike in here and uh, put any comments down in the comment section and uh, share and like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on the next video.